So, hi, good morning. Uh, we are at nine o'clock, so let's get this thing going because uh, we are in a hurry, um, because we are in Estonia. Um, I would like to welcome you all to uh, the Phosphogy Europe 2024 conference. Yay! So, uh, can I see a show of hands for whom this is the first ever Phosphor-G? Oh, there's almost half of you. Uh, that's really cool because uh, uh, we are a total of 450 participants here registered from 44 countries. Uh, we are approximately 50 organizers. We had uh, 24 workshops and will be featuring 161 presentations over the next three uh, over the next three days. The event will be live streamed, and uh, I just saw the picture before that it is. We are actually live, so hi everybody over the internet as well. Uh, and this has been made possible to the help of our sponsors. Uh, especially the gold sponsors, uh, Rapid Lasso, Geocat, uh, the uh, European Commission Initiative, uh, Destination Earth, and Qfield Cloud. Um, let me see, let me see. Anyway, we have an event packed three days ahead of us. We already had the Geochicas take Tartu yesterday, which was a very sweet event. Um, that's the hashtags. That's the, this is what I'm talking about. There is going to be the icebreaker party tonight, uh, which will be hosted in Aparadideas, the widget factory, which is just around the corner from here. Um, the social bites, which will be in Loitiagota, somewhere down the, uh, up the stream at the riverside. Uh, some food, music, drinks, talks, and all of that. Um, let's go back to the hashtags. No, this is back. Hashtags. So uh, if you're tweeting or tooting or uh, posting something, then please use these hashtags. So um, we have something for the past to uh, support this uh, gathering. Now, important parts, coffee and lunch breaks are divided in two. Uh, one of them is in uh, the Omicum building. The other one is in the expo area. So if you go out of the front door, you turn left, then you get to the expo area, you turn right, you get to the Omicum building. Uh, we will see how we can fit the 400 plus people of you and most probably there might be some changes coming up uh, with that, but we will communicate them. And the opening hours for the building, we uh, start at eight o'clock, the, the building opens at seven o'clock, we want to close it, so if you uh, would kindly move out uh, at that time. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, there is going to be a community sprint, uh, which if you plan to attend, then please do sign up on the OSGO Wiki page. There is currently like uh, seven or eight people only. Uh, if you plan to come, we would like to provide you with uh, lunch and coffee. If you don't sign up, then we don't know how much coffee we need. Um, and essentially, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, sorry, the most important part, in case of emergency. So police, uh, uh, fire brigade, everything like that is in Estonia, it's 112. You call the number and they will uh, send you to the right service. Uh, if there is a fire, fire alarm in this building, then the gathering point is in the park outside the building. And I think it's it. Uh, so we can uh, declare this uh, conference open. Um, 
And we have some welcome remarks, notes from um, people important to this event, to this city. Uh, first up is Mari Mora from the university. And uh, can I please ask you to? Welcome to the University of Tartu. I'm the Vice Rector for Research. I'm Professor in Community Ecology. And I'm very pleased to, to see you here and welcome this nice event in, in our university. Uh, I really express my gratitude to the community that you, you brought this conference to our university. And I express my gratitude to the people who organized it here. I just heard how many you are here, and, and this is very important for our university and, of, of course, to, to, you know, to the city of Tartu as well. But they will speak by themselves. Uh, the university is rather long, historically. In eight years, we celebrated 400 years of foundation. And uh, since then, I think the university, the core of the university has been scientific excellence and also uh, excellence in higher education and innovation indeed. And this has been really much connected with the, with the things what you do here in, in this community. Last decade has become a very important for, for open source data, open source developments, and, and also we have really appreciated that we do have challenges in our environment, nature, and societies, which you guys helped you to really solve in a very collaborative manner all over the Europe, all over the globe. So thank you for that. And I don't really take your time more. I just wish you a very fruitful conference very inspiring discussions with your colleagues. Extremely good luck for finding new friends and colleagues here. And last but not least, please don't forget to enjoy the Tartu, the city of good thoughts, because this is the really time, the summer, where Tartu is, li is living. And you bring some life to, to our city as well. And for that, I probably introduce the next speaker, <laughs> the Vice Mayor of the City of Tartu, and he probably tells you that we are, we, our city is also culture capital for Europe 2024. Thank you and have a good time here. Yes, good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen. Really glad to have you here in our lovely city. As you already heard from Mari, uh, it's a really important year for the city. So we are the European capital of culture during this year, and we have prepared for it uh, during the last five years. So it has been a long, long preparation. And right now, Tartu, together with uh, 19 municipalities here in southern Estonia, we are Helding the title, European Capital of Culture. And I just realized that you are spending quite a lot of time here. You are st staying for many, many days, and uh, you have definitely great chances to also take part of the program, what we are offering as a cultural capital. Uh, you will have definitely many chances also to walk around in the city and, and see how beautiful we actually are and how well perceived is our um, city center and this ar uh, historical part of the city. So uh, I definitely encourage you to take the time and, and walk around, walk in our parks, walk in the riverside, visit different locations uh, here in, in, in the heart of the city, because uh, Tartu is a traditional university city and uh, we would never be in what we are without having the university here. University of Tartus that was established in 1632, so it's quite a long time ago, and it's one of the oldest universities here in Northern Europe. So definitely, uh, Tartu is a classic university city. We have a lot of bright minds growing here. 
So we are really proud of that. And uh, our main challenge right now is to offer also really good jobs after graduating from the universities. Uh, altogether, we have 11 higher education institutions in the city of Tartu, which makes us really the capital of education also here in Estonia. So, but um, of course, um, the topic what you are touching during those days here, it's, it's really important uh, not only for the city, but also the citizens and also services uh, related to geospatial data and, and the software solutions. Those are, uh, I, I would say, the importance is growing that much in the society and then everything related to mapping and uh, navigation, whatever else, and that also all the city everyday activities related to spatial planning, also related to the development of a geo hub, etc., etc. Um, I, I really hope that the discussions that, that you will have during the week you will uh, make, make the services uh, better in the future and you will make the software solutions better in the future. So I, I'm really glad that the conference is taking place here in Dartu. I'm really thankful to the organizers uh, that this kind of um, really um, expansive international event is taking place here in Dartu. So everybody please feel warmly welcomed in our lovely city and, and enjoy the conference. Enjoy Dartu. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now we have a couple of minutes before we can proceed. I forgot my phone, so I don't know what the time is. Uh, yeah, there was, I don't know if you, if you walked around uh, in the building here, you, you noticed there is an exhibition going on, right? <clears throat> so it's a double exhibition uh, with the uh, Estonian Literary Museum, who's hosting it, which is the building next door, uh, next door, is the building outside next to this one, and the Natural History Museum, which is located here. So we were just uh, discussing that most probably this will be the conference that people remember, will remember as the one where you had the red lungs uh, in, the, in the hallway going. <laughs> uh, this was supposed to be funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> 